Hey Virgo, happy Wednesday. Um, I hope that you all had a good day today. A uh, couple of things I wanted to say. I took the test, you all know that. Why did I, why did I flunk that damn test again? I, I sent my, because I just found out before I left work, so I'm still a little, you know, out there with it. But I got the email. It told me my score was 65. You have to have a score of 70, of 70 to pass. I'm like, God damn, I can't pass this damn test. But I told, I sent my <laughs> my boss a message in all caps. I'm not taking it no more. I'm fed that I'm fed. I want to say I'm fed the fuck up, but I said I'm fed up. I'm not taking this test no more. I'm not dealing with this beast of a test anymore, and I mean it! Exclamation point! And I sent it to him. I'm just done. I did my due diligence. Uh, the damn test five hours long. I'm like, what the hell? Uh uh, I'm not doing it no damn more. I'm tired of it. I can't do it anymore. Almost to the point where it's comical, you know. Not doing it anymore. I'm not wasting another five hours on that damn test. It's the second time I took it. The second time I failed, I'm done. F that test, okay? I know more than I knew before then. Just F it. I don't know. I think I'm getting caught up with these case studies. There's certain things that you have to do. They give you like there's two different case studies and like like maybe ten or fifteen questions each for those case studies. But you got got to answer all of these questions and math problems and you know different situations like that i think that's what's getting me caught up you know all the other stuff cool but and my daughter gonna say well you got the you got the um the answers you got the books you can go online i say you know if you go online while you're taking a test that's called cheating you can't do that so i'm not going to cheat you know but i'm not taking that damn thing f that damn test uh -uh, i'm not doing it <laughs> i just can't do it anymore y'all i can't do it i spent too much time on both of those tests studying and stuff and i'm like no mm -mm. and then I had an order. I normally get, you know, some stuff from Amazon like every two or three months. So I got this great, old big, this great old big box of toilet paper, right? And so I knew that it was at my front door because Amazon sent me a picture. So my daughter called me all panicking and everything and said, somebody tried to steal your package. We had a porch box. I said, what you talking about? Guy came up on a porch out and tried to steal the package. My daughter had to rest, had to rest the package out of his hand. She said she knocked him down to the ground and took the package. What's wrong with people? If you want, if you want toilet paper, and it's thirty six mega rolls of, of of toilet paper. You tried to steal thirty six rolls of toilet paper. You must be something. Must be wrong with your stupid ass. <sighs> you know what? Anyway, y'all, let's roll. I'm still having back pain, but you know. What's going on, Virgo? I'm telling you, I'm not taking that damn test no more. And, and they didn't want me to take the test. I want this certification for my own good. They didn't want me to take it. I want to take it. So, but it's not a job requirement. It's just something that I want to do. But fuck that test. Uh-uh. Fuck that test. It, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't jeopardize my job or my position. It was just something that I wanted to do. But that test, when I tell you when that, when that test is a beast, it's a MF and B. Fine. I'm not kidding. Like I said, F that test. Mm -mm, I'm done. Nope, 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 nope. Never again will I ever take another hood test. Nope. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let's go. There's so much things I want to say, but I can't online. But, you know, I'm not taking a damn thing no more. Mm. Nope. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> What's in your energy field today? We got the emperor. So, well, you still are MF and one of You still are the MP MVP. No matter what it is you did or couldn't do or fail, you still the motherfucking MPV. What is an MVP? Don't even worry about it. I can't even talk. Okay. We got the 60 so what's. We had this this too um, yesterday. You could be moving. This is possibly pushing you in a different direction, you know. Um, putting a cart before the horse or the heart, the, the horse before the cart, the cart, because I've heard it two different ways. Sometimes you got to leave a situation in order to do better, in order to make things better. Sometimes you got to come up out of a situation, all right? Uh, if, it, if, it, if you know that it's no longer serving, you just leave. Just go somewhere else. This is you being pushed to move on, you know? It, it's like, you know what? I'm not happy where I'm at or, you know, this is just, just an opportunity for me to get the glow up on my own, doing it by myself. But I feel the only way you have to do this, just, just go. Just get in your car and leave, Okay. Move on away from it. You know, it may be uh, one of the best decisions. I'm hearing in the most practical decisions that you can make in your life. All right. It's just moving on. It's time. You know, there's no sense in being stuck, you know, being men mentally stuck in a situation. Um, it's time for you to be on a new journey. Switch your focus up, you know, to find peace and harmony. And I do see transition for you. You know, you're becoming that person that's in charge. Um, definitely when it comes to your mental state here, you know, having a better future, being guided somewhere. And, and, and it's your question yourself where you are right now. Is where I'm at right now where I'm meant to be? Maybe not. You know, maybe you'll do better somewhere else. 
but you have to ultimately figure that out all right because i think now that you're standing up and you're finally taking notice like ah, oh, i gotta do something else i gotta find somewhere else to to work or somewhere else to move or you know just figure out where my journey is you know i have here the nine of wands and i have the three of swords because i feel like now um you're very successful where you are all right but then there's still some issues going on around you it may not have anything to do with you but i still see you seeing other people go through some stuff because right now you're the one on top you are the one here being celebrated okay where are you wanting to go now in your life what is it that you're wanting to do you've come through a lot and you were down here with them you were down here and that negative negative energy all right I, I just don't want to go through that anymore all this battle stuff and everything though you possibly still have some people going through some of the same things that you went through you're able to relate to them more but you're past that now you're past that point now it's time for you to move on all right I feel like your bags are packed. You're ready to go. Though you still have people suffering or doing what it is that they're going through. Going through their trials and tribulations. But you can't feel guilty or feel bad because of because you're leaving people behind. That's their journey. Okay. That's their struggle. You're coming up out of that struggle. And this is you saying, I'm done with all that. I'm done. You know. And you can't feel bad for moving on. You can't feel bad for releasing yourself from the struggle. You've worked your ass off, okay? Whether you passed or failed or failed somewhere in between, you still worked hard as you possibly could to get out of the situation that you're in, Virgo. All right? And, that, and that's a good thing because you didn't give up. And don't feel sorry for what you didn't do, okay? Don't feel sorry about what you couldn't do or whatever the situation is, all right? You got to let it go. You can't feel bad about it. I can't feel bad. Do you think I feel bad about that test after taking it twice? No, uh, uh, nope. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I just, it blows my mind because I thought for sure I passed this time. I'm like, man, fuck that damn test. I ain't worried about that thing. It's not doing anything as far as up in my pay or anything like that. Yeah, I have more knowledge. Yes, and maybe it's just test anxiety. I don't know, but whatever the rent, whatever, I ain't gonna worry about it no more. You know, um, I did what I needed to do, and that's it. You know, but this is you taking action. This is not this is not you feeling sorry for yourself or anything or being disappointed. I'm a little disappointed, yeah, pointed, yeah, but it's not gonna make me or break me. No self pity here, Virgo. You still successful. You didn't give up. You did it. Okay, you took action and you did it, and you may dis be dissatisfied with whatever it is, the turnout of a situation, but whatever. You can't go back and change it unless you take it again. And I'm not gonna take that test again. I mean that. I'm not. What it is. Okay making choices okay don't be confused you already know what you got to do i'm hearing you already know what you need to do you get into the top you're blossoming in the process of your blossoming you got opportunities around you you got money coming in opportunities maybe switching jobs maybe being elevated on a position but you are closer to the top than you think you are closer to closer to the prize this is your rebirth this is the time of your life where things are blossoming and coming towards you all right it's like you are a moth to a flame, like a magnet, and you're you're getting this energy and everything is coming together for you all at once. But don't feel bad. Don't feel sorry about you. Don't feel sorry for what you don't have or what you lost or what you couldn't do or what you think you couldn't done, what you think you could not have done. Eventually, okay, you're going to win your prize. We got the Ace of Pentacles. We're going to get this new beginning here. Okay, we're going to have this structure about ourselves. We're going to rebuild our life, and we're going to... It's like we're going to structure our life around the success because we're going to be a success no matter what it is, no matter what you choose to do. But it's going to open you up to a plethora of other opportunities that are coming your way. Open up and be ready for it. That's all I can tell you to do. Don't hold back. You know, allow this new opportunity. There's progress here. There's an opportunity for you to move forward on this path that you're manifesting your desires these new beginnings are coming through rewards are coming through so don't worry don't worry about you couldn't what you couldn't change what you couldn't fix what you couldn't heal don't okay you don't need to i just think that you tend to worry about leaving others behind but you can't you do you do you that's saying you know what i fought a lot to come here i fought the good fight i may not be where i want to be but i am closer to the top than i was ever before you know and just look at it that way you, you're still a success you may not feel it 
that you are, but you are a success. You know, you're very dependable. You're very, very efficient in what you do. Be more patient with yourself and you hard working. You are a hard working person, Virgo. Too working too hard. You know, burning both ends against the middle. But that's routine. That's what you do. Okay. But hard work is going to pay off for you somehow, in some way, and in some capacity. I just wouldn't worry about it. Here we got Empress. So meeting somebody too. You know, we have here, um, this could be a business partner. This could be you communicating with your boss and sitting down and having like a, a powwow. And you're doing better than you think you are. You may not have done this or you may not, not have achieved that. But you're closer to the top, like I said, than you think you are. All right. So you're going to have some accolades. You're going to have people communicating and talking to you. And maybe you want to get your hair fixed. You just can't afford it. Okay, maybe you want to do something different, glamorize yourself, do something, but right now you can't afford it, but eventually you will. All right, just got to pay it forward a little bit and, and not let it, things bother you or get to you, Virgo. All right, goodness, my daughter always interrupts me while I'm doing these readings. I think she does that on purpose. But what's coming your way? We have the Emperor and the Empress energy. <clears throat> What is Virgo need to look at? Need, need to focus on now in their life right now. What do you need to focus on? We got taking care of yourself. Yeah, you, you look. You've done too much, and this message is definitely for me because I try so hard. <clears throat> I really do. Okay, but you say this is you communicating with somebody. This could be a lover, somebody you're meeting, somebody coupled up, a relationship, or this could be a, a business partnership. You know, you talking to your boss about something. I'm hearing also talking to a lawyer about something. I see this as you reflecting, you know, on what didn't work or uh, maybe disappointed in something. And, and we've been talking a lot about taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, you know, knowing when to say no, uh, like, Getting away from people who you have to tell stuff to over and over again, not worried about that, but this is more so you worrying about you and what you're thinking about. It's like you're so focused on a particular thing in your life and you're reflecting on it and you're thinking about it so much, you know, whether you whether you passed it or failed it or, or gained it or lost it, whatever it is, stop focusing on it, let it go. Stop reflecting on it too much, so much, okay? You know, did you ever think maybe, maybe it wasn't meant for you to pass the test? Maybe it wasn't meant for you to pass the test right now. But, uh, hey, I don't know what the future holds as far as that test is concerned. But right now, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I did what I needed to do. I did beyond that and some shit. Mm -mm. Nope. Can't keep on letting stuff bother you. Nope. Uh, you're reflecting on it. And something, you know, possibly a little bit too much. You know, let it go. You know, sometimes we can overdo it. We can overtrain. We can overthink. And just... Let it go. And no excuses. I'm not upset about it. I'm not embarrassed about it. But I'm not taking that test again. I refuse to look bottom of the deck. Let go. You can't change everything. Okay? You got to let it go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. Let it go. You're reflecting on it too much. You're thinking about it too much. I literally thought I passed that test. I ain't even gonna lie. That was a shock to me that I didn't. But F it. I'm not. Mm -mm. No. It's it's so. <laughs> I'm just. I'm 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 so. It's so comical to me because I spent so much time studying for that test and to fail it again for a second time. No, uh, uh no, we got choices here. It's about some choices that you need to make in your life, Virgo. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make. You begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world, making choices for you. Are you going to let this test hinder you? Are you going to let you not getting this job? You, you had an interview. You aced that, that bad boy and they didn't call you or they sent you an email and said we didn't choose you. Don't worry about it. It wasn't for you. It wasn't your time. Okay, maybe you got too many other things going on in your life right now that will hinder you if you get a position, if you get the job or something. Or maybe you met somebody in a relationship, didn't turn out the way you thought it would, so y'all broke up. Don't worry about it. We got to take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward just take your time before you make a decision sometimes when we rush it doesn't turn out the way you want to and we wonder what happened okay don't worry don't trip don't let stuff bother you 
Uh -uh. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Don't worry about what you lost, what you failed, what you didn't get. Move on. There's no point in it. You can't change it. You can't change. I can't go back and change the results. I can't go back and, and <clears throat> peek online and cheat like my daughter suggests. I'm not going to do that. No. What are your desires? What is it that you really want to do? But most importantly, Virgo, what is it that you need to do? What's going to make you happy? What's going to give you that peace of mind? Okay. Taking care of yourself, your desires, you know, do something that's going to make you happy. Do something that's going to make you feel good. You know, don't let stuff stress you out so much. Don't worry about it. Stop worrying. I think that's the biggest thing. We got here cosmic power, taking your, co your power back. Like taking it back and not releasing it and not losing it again. Okay, this is you being tied to the universe, tied to Mother Nature, Mother Earth. All right, moon cycles, and, and maybe when there's a, a moon outside, a, a full moon, or something, it affects how you feel, how you see, how you think, how you deal with your life, whatever's going on around you, feeling that energy, and maybe you feel a certain kind of way. When, like I said, the moon is shining or something like that. Or maybe you want to howl like a, like a werewolf. I don't know. But whatever it is, you know, take a moment. That's going to help you relax. Taking your spiritual baths also, Virgo, is very, very important. All right. And I'm hearing also about maybe clearing your, your, your base chakra, your, your, your third eye chakra as well. Breathe. You know, just don't worry about it. Just breathe and just let it out. Just let it out. <laughs> you know, what else can you do? You can't go back and change it. All right. No matter how much you may want to, no matter how much you may feel disappointed in yourself, nope. Don't even worry about it. Mm -mm. We got seeding. Plant, plant you some, plant you some vegetables. I don't know why I said vegetables, but get you some house plants. You know. And put those plants somewhere where you can sit and enjoy them. You know, um, planting also your seeds, whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Maybe work on something, putting those ideas out there. Put those ideas on paper and, and whatever it is you're passionate about. All right. Something that you're passionate about. Write that stuff on paper. Listen to some music. Write a song or whatever. You know, listen to your favorite artist or something. You know, I'm hearing listen to your favorite artist on rotation. If I were to listen to somebody right now, it would possibly be Kenny G or Gregory Porter <laughs> on rotation right now because I need that, you know, that energy. Voice. Ooh, sing. See, listen to the singer. Listen to your favorite music. Maybe you like to sing. Anything you like to do, anything that you're passionate about, do it. Write, write a poem. So write, a, write a poem about your experience. All right. Write a poem about what you see, what you feel, what you see others are going through. And, and uh, maybe sing it out loud or, or say the poems out poems out loud at a poetry uh, gathering or something like that. Okay, go out there and do your thing. Share your gift with other people instead of worrying about some things you can't fix or control. You hear that, Virgo? Let's get a final message. Okay, Virgo, today, what's going on with your energy? Still the toilet paper. That's just crazy. So, so solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. A place for soul for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. Okay? It's all about you, Virgo. It's all about you not letting anything get to you. You know, we did a reading yesterday. Uh, your ability to establish boundaries will reach unprecedented heights in 2024. It's all about you. It's all about you clearing out that energy, uh, breathing in that fresh prana around you, uh, leveling in, leveling up to that, the higher level energy that's around you uh, and not letting anything bother you. Not let anything forsake you. Just moving on and just saying, you know what? I want to live a good life. I'm tired of letting stuff bother me. I'm done. And I do see a meeting here with a higher up. Okay, what's that conversation going to be about for you? This emperor and empress, empress and emperor energy. What is that about? We got two. I have here 
Trust your guidance you're receiving and be the real you. Be comfortable with this person with this person in this interview. You may feel a little nervous when you talk to this person, or you may feel like there's something that's not um I don't know, you just feel nervous around this person because this person could be your superior, your boss, or could be boss, you're interviewing or something. And they make you feel a little nervous because they're very stout, they're very um they're that person that's in charge, they have their fiery energy about them and um, the energy that, that, yeah, I'm the person in charge and I demand respect or whatever, whatever. I'm the person I'm of power here, you know, but just be you. Trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am so, I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust divine guidance. So your spirit guides, your angels are around you. They know that you're nervous about this impending conversation or some sort of meeting or interview you're about to have. I don't care who this meeting is with. Be the real you. Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. Okay, be who you are because that's evidently what drew them to you in the first place. Okay, be the real you. Don't be nervous around this person. Say what needs to be said. Okay, say what needs to be said. All right, talk to you later.